Once more fairy wings, it's the Hamlin Show. They love their coffee, they'll make you smile. Come on and join and sit a while. It's the Hamlin Show. Show them love, show you care. Like and subscribe, share if you dare. It's the Hamlin Show. Granny's having coffee talk. These two sisters really rock. It's the Hamlin Show. Here's Ann and Lynn. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the official Ann Lynn Ann Show. Lynn. Yay. Well, hello there, Ann. How are you doing today? I am fine. How are you? Get your mic up there. <laughs> Uh-oh, I know. Lynn has been, you've really had a time with your allergies, haven't you? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, All yes, in yes. there. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm here. Kleenex and all. Kleenex and all. That's right. Have you got your coffee? I have my water today. Oh, water. Okay. I'm trying well, to say, whoop. Get, you you got to turn your mug around. Oh, now so you we can all see your lipstick. lipstick. Yeah. Uh, mm, mm. That's a, oh. <laughs> well, we clink this way. Yeah. Ready? All right. One, clink. two, three. Clink. Clink. Ah. Clink. Clink. Oh. Clink. Well, anyhow, I have some decaf. Oh, that sounds good. I'll probably have some of that. In just a little while, because you know, we like our coffee. We like our coffee. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do. Oh, and I made an iced coffee for myself the other day. I know. First time ever, because this little, I got a new machine, and it had a over ice feature. So I thought, well, I'll do that. I'll try an iced coffee, because I know a lot of people like it. My kids like it. Oh, yeah. Whoa, was that delicious. I put my coffee creamer in it, though. I use Sugar-free Italian cream. OMG. One of my so favorite. This summer, I'll have more yeah. of those. Absolutely. And uh, did you use regular coffee or were you doing decaf at that time? Well, I decaf because in okay. the afternoon. And oh, uh, we've true. had a couple of really weird hot days. It was 88 here yesterday and about that the day before. Well, so iced coffee was sounded it? pretty good. And um, boy, was it. It was. It was uh, kind of gloomy here yesterday and um, kind of like, I don't know, sprinkled, but not really. It was more like a mist. A mist. That's how it is here today. We got the glooms. We got mm -hmm. we had the glooms. Yesterday. We got the gloomy outside. But I am happy inside. That's right. We we are. We've we got have to joy be joy in us. Today, the day the Lord's made. And so we will rejoice. And that that's it. You have to make a choice to do that. We sure do. So, oh, well, speaking of choices, yes. how is your new lifestyle choices? Well, coming along. <laughs> I I'm like practically starving myself to death, and I'm just like me, me, me. Mm. So I'm still waiting. The clothes are loosening up, so that's a good thing. Well, I but, saw yeah. my nutritionist yesterday morning. Yes, and we discussed that same thing that. You know, it's kind of, hmm. and she level said, off. Mm -hmm. Yep, she said for me to increase my calories by one to two hundred per day, and um, that will charge because your body is like holding on to what calories it has. So yeah, it's actually that, holding on. Well, you kind of that helps to trick it, and I knew that. Yeah, I know that, and I tried that over the weekend because I ate a little bit more. I actually cooked breakfast Saturday morning, oh. and um, I just didn't eat any bread. But I had eggs and bacon. Oh, my gosh. Was that good? Oh, and um, I don't know. <laughs> I know. Ding, ding. I'm going to have to eat some more, I guess. That's but right. Anyhow. You gotta give your um, system a shock and then it'll go, okay, I'm going to release all yeah, this yeah. Uh, weight. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, the yeah, the, the, the stuff around my waist, that belly fat does oh. not want to let go. No, it wants to hang on there. I know. It's so <laughs> aggravating. But, you know, it does take time. It took time to get there. So, it took you me know, years. it is what it is. That's and I know right. you guys out there, a lot of you too, it's just like, ugh, what a struggle. But anyhow, today we have a great guest, don't we? we oh, we sure do. I am so excited. Um, she's a um, returning guest. And yes. you're going to find out why in just a few minutes as soon as we welcome 
Miss Erica to well, the official we should say village. that Erica was on last year. Yes, and and she brought to us uh, what it's like to be a foster parent. Yes, and so that's what they were fostering. Uh, yes. In their so home. we're just going to let her explain yeah. what has so, happened. Yeah. So, so, yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> Very much so. It's so exciting, exciting, right? Yes. So here she comes. Yes. And let's get our coffee. Got to get our coffee okay. cups oh, ready. You, hold on. Yeah, Miss Erica, up. have your coffee. We got to clink you in. I'm going to wipe my The official Ann Lynn clink. <laughs> yeah, but a, yeah, wipe off the lipstick. Here she is, Yay. Miss Erica. And, ooh, <laughs> She's okay. got one too because super fan, super fan. Hi, everybody. Welcome to be back. Yes, welcome, Erica. Erica got she was. We had a contest a last, long time ago. Yeah, a couple years now. We had a, a contest for a mug, and Miss Erica won. She is our super fan. So yes. welcome, welcome. Thank you, ladies. Thanks for having me back. We're glad. We're excited to hear about what you're going to tell us today. Yeah, yeah. So, may I ask did did I just go out of the picture for a moment? You froze. Thank you. Well, uh -huh. my um, computer <laughs> or internet went out. So, oh yeah, you're a little bit little bit dark there, but we're gonna. Yeah, now you're fuzzy. So it's your internet, Lynn. Mm -hmm. Wow. What can I say? Ah, just, you can, well, just stay right there with, ah, you're coming in clearer. Just stay there. I'll just stay don't right move. here. Don't move. Yeah, don't move. Just don't freeze move. frame. <laughs> freeze frame. Okay. But anyhow, so Erica, welcome back. And you're going to give us like a part two now. Yeah. Of your, yeah. Of the adventure of fostering parents to yeah. adoption. So as a foster parent. Um, month by month, your case can change, you know, and honestly, sometimes it's day by day, but, you know, it's been a bit since I've been on the show and a whole lot has transpired in that time. And I was actually trying to remember where we left off um, at, at the end of the last show that I did. And I believe, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I'm almost sure that we were waiting for what's called termination of parental rights to it. That sounds about right. Okay. Yep. That's yep. what I thought too. Yep. All right. So when, when that happens, when you hit that point in your foster care journey, that's when adoption gets talked about. Okay. okay. So you go to this court hearing and it's called fact finding. That's what it was called for us. And the state brings up, the reasons for terminating the biological parents' rights. Okay. It's not a fun court hearing. It is not one that um, you look, it's, it's not one you look forward to. It's a tough one. It's very, um, it's intense in a lot of ways. Um, ours, emotional. I would oh think my. Emo emotional for everybody involved. For everyone involved. Mm -hmm. So, um, we went through that and it was about two hours and the judge went ahead and ordered from the stand, um, uh, following the fact finding, which that does not, that's not stereotypical by the way, that does not normally happen. You normally have to wait, um, sometimes a month or two to get, um, a verdict. Um, in our instance, rights were terminated that day. Um, in the courtroom. So then from that point on, those, the biological parents don't have any rights to the children. Okay. okay. Um, that's just putting it, um, that's about as concise as I can make it. They lose their rights to their children. So emotions are high. It's, it, it, <sighs> It's mm -hmm. weird because I'm the foster mom. So I saw it from a little different perspective. Um, and yet at the same time, there is a sadness about this that yeah. I could not ignore. I couldn't I, ignore um, yeah. what just happened. Uh, 
the weight of it, I, I understood. I really did. I felt it. You know, it's, there's a part, if you're the foster parent who's pre-adoptive, which we were, we are, um, where there's a little joy and that may sound bad. It's not, it's not, I promise. It was just the idea that something we've been hoping to happen. Yes. Is going to happen. Yeah. It's, gonna it's finally going to happen, but it's gonna it, happen. but it was going to hurt somebody but at else. The same time. Yeah. Yeah. I could not ignore. Yeah. That, you know, I did not give birth to this child. Right. I did not know this child for many years of his life. I didn't right. know him. Yes. Okay. And I now have the privilege of meeting him and having him in my home for almost two years now. It's been almost, almost two years. Yeah. And I still, it goes through my head. It really does. Often it does, you know, this, this, he is not biologically my son. And I think about his parents. Yes. I do. I yes. think about them. Um, I pray for them. And I want, I want nothing but the best for Absolutely. his biological family. And I mean that with all my heart. I genuinely do. I mean that. And to be in this spot now, so termination of rights has happened. And now he is labeled as pre-adoptive. Okay. okay. So yeah. they yeah. are labeled, they, they get given labels along the way. It's wow. not, I mean, I'm just be real. It's not pretty. Being no, in foster sure. care is terrible. Okay. I mean, for these children, it's, it's awful. Um, but not every story ends bad. And that's why I'm yes. here today. Okay. Foster care does have some wins along the way. So I want to be, I'm, we're one of those win stories and I want to get the word out here that it doesn't always end bad. Okay. So they go pre-adoptive. My husband and I, all you have to do to become pre-adoptive as a foster parent is to take one extra class. That is it. It is very simple. It's an all day class, mind you, but you take it and then you're legally eligible to adopt okay. any child that has termination of rights. So once that happened, we, I mean, on the way out to the car, okay, the Department of Child Services was talking to us, um, giving us directions on what lawyer to get because okay. you will need, you'll need a lawyer. Um, the protocol from this point on, I mean, we, we literally walked out of the courtroom and DCS was with us and we're like, okay, are you going to adopt him? Mm -hmm. And with no hesitation, uh, we said, yes, we said, yes, absolutely. And they said, okay, so here's, here's what you got to do. Mm -hmm. And I said, I said, I'll call tomorrow and get the ball rolling. Can, can I ask a couple questions? Uh -huh. um, so you were face to face with the biological parents or mother in the courtroom? They did not show to the okay. hearing. Okay. Okay. So, so I have there, been. I have, have been, been in have the been. past. Yes. So, okay. but had had they said their goodbyes or, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Had he had um foster child had an opportunity to say goodbye was that something that needed to be done maybe it didn't um was there it did not a, happen in our case okay and it seems to be good that it did not happen so so, oh, okay. so there was closure yes. on that side yes emotionally you think there was closure i hope so I hope yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I guess that's something you <laughs> think welcome to my world, right, right? Right. You don't. Yes. You, I mean, you think it is, and I hope and, so. Right. I you hope so. Genuinely hope so. Yeah. Um, okay. 
we it, we have placed it now in his hands in regards to contact with his um, biological family. Um, it is not, it's no longer court mandated now, you see. Right. So I'll get to why that's not court mandated okay, anymore. Okay. But um, it's now up to him. And that's oh. where we've left it. We okay. we put it in his court. And that may be something that down the road he revisits, maybe once he's gone. It might. You know, and, and maybe not. It just, right. So, right. I mean, so, okay, so you wanted yeah. to adopt. And yes. so it was that mutual. Yes. In our case, it very much was. Mm -hmm. Um. I, I think it, I give myself two weeks and I was ready to adopt this child. Okay. I was ready. Um, obviously he was an emergency placement and we were under the impression that we were only going to have him for a couple of weeks. Well, yes. um, if you're thinking about fostering and DCS says that to you, um, I know my testimony and I know the testimony of many others. Mm -hmm. um, if they say two weeks tops. No, that's, that's probably not going to be not realistic, case. not realistic. Yeah. So just mm -hmm. throwing that out there. Um, so we should these, expect months. Is, okay. it, is the process the same for, uh, say a baby as it would be for an older child? Do you I don't think it is. Okay. I don't think it is. Okay. Um, now the same, I mean, a foster parent to a baby has the same training as I have okay. with older children. It's all the same training. Um, the chances of a baby going up for adoption are not um, going to be quite as high as what an older child yeah. Yes. Yes. Do, do now, you happen to know what the statistics might be? Nation, so national. I'm really sorry. I do not know that statistic. Um, I know several foster parents. <clears throat> I know of two that only do one and under. Okay. And okay. It's the cases have to be pretty extreme for adoption to occur for a baby. Um, only because they're brand new and they're going to really try to keep bio mom and dad with that yeah. child. Okay? okay. They're really going to plug to keep them together. Okay. If the child is older and has gone through years and years and years of abuse and neglect. Right. We have, there's more against the parents at that point. Sure. Um, which in our case in less than two years. Yes. We met him and adopted him. Yes. Okay. That's very quick for foster care. Wow. That's very quick. It's, it oh, seems it's, like forever for me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. And uh, I know it has to they know because you know yeah. they they've been a part of this journey with the, with us. Yeah. And it seems like he's just kind of always been, you know, and right. he's yes. just always been with us and he just meshed really well, you know. He Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. He just became my boy real quick and I was mom real quick. Yeah. And we haven't had any sort of him displaying any, ugh, I want to be careful how I say this, okay? He's not demonstrating wanting to be with his biological family at all at mm -hmm. this point. Now, it's like what, um, like what you mentioned earlier, down the road. Yeah, maybe down the road. Change? Sure. Good. That because I think that happens a lot now. You know, people find out or they know they were told they were adopted, mm -hmm. you know, even as small children or babies. Yeah. And then, yeah. you know, 20, 30, even more years later, they yes. go on a, a search, you know, to find their Absolutely. real parents. Just just to kind of have an idea. Then you know, yep. you know, 
Mm -hmm. genealogy, you know, medical yep. reasons, um, lots of different, you know, just as closure, you know. Absolutely. Um, now, in our case, it's a little different. He will always have memories of his yes. biological family. He'll yeah. always know them. Yeah. He'll always remember them. Right. Um, with his age and everything, that will always be a part of his life. He'll never, you know, he will always know that he's been adopted. Yes. So right. will he want to, um, you know, will closure be a part of his future? I just don't know. Right. And that's, we'll be behind him a hundred percent, whatever comes along his path. Um, that's very it, good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. We'll, we'll back him up, whatever he decides. I, <laughs> I may be shaking in my boots while we do it, but um, I mean, I'll, we'll be there. We'll be there with him every step of the way. He just has not demonstrated any desire at this point. Yes. But he is absolutely healing. So sometimes, especially with older children, um, sometimes there's a healthy break and it is healthy and it's needed sometimes. In this instance, it does seem to be uh, very beneficial to our son to yeah. be us. He's in healing mode. That's all right. I, that's, that's yes. the way I know to yes. say it. He's now, healing. Well, he's they'll, been through a lot in the last two years. Oh, I, I can't even imagine. I can't it, either. It's, no. I mean, from a kid's standpoint. Exactly. I, I mean, I, I can't. Now, will there be follow up with the court system or a social worker or anybody, foster care people or anything? Is anybody follow up on you guys? No. So you're done. You're done. Done. Yes. <laughs> and recently, I'm sorry, there's my joy shining. It, ah, and ah. and recently, we have a couple pictures to show. Sure oh, yes, yes. Because if anybody has forgotten, yeah, who are you? To the who lady are you, in the middle, Erica? I'm Lynn's daughter-in-law. Yes, yes. daughter-in-love. I have daughter two in, or, beautiful. Yes, I'm her daughter. Daughter-in-love. Yes. yes. And so Lynn, you should have a couple of pictures. I yes. do. Yes. So, and I'll show in just a second. But Lynn. Yes. So you have a new grandchild. I sure yes. do. I am so. Oh, I tell you, we we um, your family oh, is growing. Um. Has um, grown. We were able, cameraman and I were able to be there uh, for the uh, ceremony, the the adoption ceremony. Oh my gosh! It was so nice. Tears. <laughs> it was happy tears. Happy tears. Well, Joyful this first tears. picture I'm going to show okay. is of you and Lynn, uh, uh, oh. you and Miss Erica. I'm, there we go. Kind of get yep. looky there. Oh, and there your shirt are. says Foster. Oh, it's crossed nope. out. Adoptive, yep. it's nope. crossed out. Biological, it's yep. crossed. Just mom. Just mom. <laughs> Just mom. Just uh, mom. I'm very happy to drop those other three names. I really am. I'm just mom. That's it. And you're wearing oh. it today. I am. I, am. I wore it for this. And yes. then here is. Whoops. <laughs> what happened there? Oops. <laughs> Edit. Not as we, <laughs> it'll be right there. <laughs> Here's the next picture, and that is of cameraman and cameraman oh, and mom. Grandparents, very proud grandparents. Um, yes. We now have two grandsons and a beautiful granddaughter, and we we our families just expanded, and we are just couldn't be. We're over the moon. We're over the moon. Yes. How, how wonderful. Yeah. How wonderful. At church Sunday, I actually, um, I had pictures developed at, at yes. Walmart. Yes. <clears throat> so I could, I could show, um, our mother. Here we go. Right. Uh, right. Yep. Up there. Because our tell, mother. Tell and us about the ceremony, delighted. you guys. Tell oh, us, okay. tell us about, I'd like, let's get Erica's perspective. Well, I want to know. A question first. Oh, yeah. Okay. From the parental rights that were um, terminated. Okay. Terminate. Thank you. To okay. now, how long has that process been? And is that a normal pro uh, speed and time? They terminated in December. Them. In December. And we adopted okay. last week. So, right. however long that is, yes. there we go. Yep. All right. So, what, three, three plus January, months. February, March, yeah. April, yes. four. Four. Yeah, four, four months. months. 
yeah. four months from termination. Months. Yep. We also had everything in order. And if you are ever considering foster parenting, being organized and being on your game is mm -hmm. key. Um, do not expect anybody else to, uh, uh, there's so much I want to say, but I will be, I promise I'll be good. Um, that you need to advocate for yourself and there for you your go. foster children. Yeah. Right. You have you, to be your own advocate. You will need to do it. Okay. Now, um, so where did you get resources? How did you know what to do? Right. <laughs> um, well, you can either become a pain in the butt to your case manager, which I probably totally did. Um, and then there are, so each state is divided into regions. Okay. So you will have a region with a number by it, and that's your Department of Child Services region. Mm -hmm. There's a Facebook page for almost every region of every state. Oh. It's been a great resource for me because I'm not the only one that's going through this. And you post a question on it and you'll get, 30 responses in no time from these more mature, experienced um, foster parents that have been there and done that. Okay. So a face, Facebook page and nagging DCS, <laughs> which I did. So, yep, you do what you got to do to help these kids. And we did that. And we had all our ducks in a row before... Honestly, we had the majority of our adoption ducks in a row before termination of rights happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We were waiting on that. That happened. Six weeks after termination is granted by a judge. Then you can, um, they, they tell you to get the ball rolling at that point. Okay. You, can get, you can get the ball rolling the day after your hearing um, where they terminate rights. You can get it. I did. I called the lawyer the next day. Um, she got all of our information from DCS. Uh, you'll have to give her. Uh, oh, my. There's a lot of information. They'll know everything about you. They, they want to know all of it. <clears throat> now, so. there w should be uh, lawyers that <gasps> specialize in that, right? In adoptions. That's what we had. So yes. you want right. a specialist. Right. I mean, you want a, a lawyer that well, knows. Yep. Yeah experienced That's experienced yes, yes. And has and has done it before many many times if yeah. not you might be helping your lawyer and that's yeah. not what you're exactly right. we yeah. had she gave us a printout mm -hmm. and it was literally number one do this number two do that number wow. three do that you do it in order and it was all done it was that simple perfect yeah. and she did her job and it was it was great um I will throw this out there that if you find a, a lawyer that specializes in this, ask them if they allow the state to cover their pay, meaning the Department of Child Services gives you an allotted amount oh. towards your adoption lawyer. So if you wow. find one that is willing to take that stipend, Yes, we didn't. Yes. We didn't spend a penny out of pocket. So, oh my goodness, that's a blessing. Yes, wow. just, that's a freebie for any of you out there. Um, wow. Ask ask an adoption lawyer if they will take the money that's provided by the state. Wow. And yeah, there there's some really great ones out there. There really are. There's some not so great ones, but we had a great one, and well. she did us really well, and she was easy to work with. And she was very organized, which I would appreciate as yes. a highly organized individual. I, I love that. That's how, that's how I thrive. So when she gave me that checklist, that was all Miss Erica needed yep. to be yeah. able to get everything done. And we got oh. it done lickety split. And we were given an option of either going to court for a formal hearing mm -hmm. yes. or you can just request the judge to sign the adoption decree mm -hmm. and then they mail you the the paperwork. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you wanted the whole shebang, didn't you? Oh, oh man. <laughs> I 
So, so tell I us laughed. about that I day. Did. Oh yeah. I, totally laughed. I said, you know me by now we're going to court. Okay. And we did. And oh man, it was so nice. We had uh, several people there that were supporting us. And I saw you had t-shirts on your family. Yes, family. They all had a t-shirt. They all, yes. you all matched. Yes. And so did you do that? You had them made? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. In fact, uh, one of my foster parent friends, she made those for us. Oh, it was really great. Yeah. I nice? loved it. I loved it. We all matched and, yep. um, our foster son was the only one that had a different shirt. Like, you know, mine says mom, right? right. Yes. Okay. And then my husband said dad. Our daughters said sister. Our sons said brother. Yes. And our foster son was the only one that had a different shirt. Mm -hmm. And his had our last name on it. And it said, you know, look who's. And then it had our last name. Look who's. I, yeah. I'm not saying that very well. But anyway, I can't. This kid, him. this kid, this kid. And it <laughs> meant that he was now a part of our family. That's right. right. Absolutely. <laughs> so, and you know what? Had a different me. shirt on. You know what really blessed me? Now, you you probably have to help me. But he was um, given um, a a new backpack. Yes. A beautiful from the, backpack. From the court. Yeah. From the court yep. with Neat. his new initials. Yes. Oh, yes. It was really, yes. Yeah, Precious. it was really neat. Precious. They stitched it in um, mm -hmm. his new initials on his yes. backpack. It's a really nice. He loves that, by the way. That's a great backpack for him. And, oh, and it, I saw pictures where you guys gaveled in. Yeah. <laughs> she let um, our foster son and our two yes. biological children uh, hit the gavel. And they oh, thought that was a hoot. Sweet. Yep. Yeah. They thought that was real fun. Oh, and I think that was. It was it. great. Oh, like we had no. a great, we had a great judge. Um, but you we sure also did. we yeah. went in with such joy and mm -hmm. love, and we had you know we were all talking and laughing, and just even before we got even before the bailiff came back to get us, we yes. just. It was the day it had finally come and everything was going to, uh, it, it's like it came to a closure for me and my family. I right. hope it comes to closure for our new son. I really do. And, well, and you had teachers there? Yeah. Yes. I invited everybody. I did. Oh, and you they came. Teachers there was... and family and Ooh, friends. And... Almost two dozen people. Almost. Oh, yeah. We had, we had quite a few, especially... Yeah, look, and the day and time it was, we had a pretty good turnout for Absolutely. it. We really did. And mm -hmm. the judge was just wonderful. She was so sweet. And um, afterward, it. I know I don't I I don't think um, everybody heard it, but because the mic wasn't on at that point, but uh, somebody was talking to her after it, and they thanked her. Mm -hmm. for having us like that just a you know being cordial and all that and she goes this is the this is my favorite part of my job she goes these yeah. adoptions are what i love she goes look at how happy everybody is yes. you know it's when you are genuinely in love with that child he's no different to me than my biologicals Absolutely. He's, my, he's my son yes he is he's our grandson yeah he's my well, son and he will, he will always be my son. And uh, I'm sorry. I know. I love him very much. And it was a long journey. And it was really hard to go through it. Because it was not fun for the most part. No. And I won't get into it. But it was not fun. We had a lot of hard times along the way. Um, not everybody made this smooth. And I wish it had been. I wish it had been. I really do. Yeah. Um, but our our son, you know, he doesn't know. He doesn't know stuff that happened and he never will. You know, um, we made this as smooth on him as we possibly could. Sure and me did. and my husband took the hits and we did. And going to that courtroom and our foster son was so happy. He was uh -oh. so happy. Ab he, yes, he Beaming. couldn't. He couldn't wait 
He was so excited. And she she said everything's in order. I seriously I would say sorry. I know. <clears throat> I would say Uh-oh. that the judge spoke maybe a minute long. Yes. Honestly. She said everything is in order. There's the state approved this. Mm-hmm. The state will have to approve your adoption as well. Yeah. That's separate paperwork that will that that's you have to wait on that and before you get your adoption date. So once you put in your your request for adoption, yes, that all that paperwork gets sent to the main office of your state. Okay, it's not your district. It goes to the central office of your entire state and they have to approve you for adoption. So once that occurs, you get given a court date and our judge, I truly don't know if she even spoke for a minute Mm -hmm. and she said, I approve it, let it be done. And she signed the paper and hit the gavel and it was done. Like that was this. Now it was so straightforward. Our, our lawyers spoke more than the, um, the yeah. judge did. I mean, was it was there, very was there an opposing, was there like an opposing side there or, no. or not? Okay. No, no, we're past, you're, yes, past so you're way that. past that. You are past so all that. Did she <laughs> issue a new birth certificate? Right. Yep. That's what we're waiting she on did. that in the mail. Once I get his new birth certificate, I take that and um, you get, you have to take that to the social security office and then you have things to do from that point on. And, uh, that's, I'm just waiting on his birth certificate. However, I was able to take the um, decree of adoption paperwork to the school and All they right. changed, they changed his name already in the school That's system great. for me. And that was so nice. Yeah, cool. That was so, oh my goodness. Now, and now, so now you have another dependent. Yes, I do. And so I he got added now. to all of the benefits do what? Employ. He got all the employment benefits. Yes. From yes. your husband. Yep, that's correct. So, so now he's. We he just he's, actually he's, added him to our dental today. So oh, <laughs> oh, that's good. You got to make sure because you, you, you got to get. Yeah, in case you know. <laughs> and he fits right in because he uh, wears glasses also. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, yeah, yeah. So you, you got to have all that in order now for him too. Yep. So yep. um I know There's, it I know it's been um really yeah. hard. Yeah. Um yeah. from the beginning. You I think now when you first decide you want to foster, you kind of are like, Yeah, we can do this. And then <laughs> and I mean you kind of go so in with ignorant. So I was gonna ignorant. say you you've uh, learned, haven't you now? Yes, yes. So um uh. Would we you were do completely it again? oblivious. We had no idea what we were getting into. Would you do it? Would you do it again? Yes, in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. You would for do him. It? For him, absolutely. Oh, for him. No, I'm yes. just saying now. For well, no, we're done. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> what we're done. <laughs> okay, family has grown. <laughs> okay. No, no, I would if you, you if you knew every time you were going to get somebody a child like like your. Yeah. Oh, new if son, that was a guarantee, it would be different. Be different story. Yeah, yes, but you yes. sometimes, I mean, unfortunately, the children in the foster care, most of them are not um, as well adjusted as your right. child. I yes. mean, they yeah. have a lot of, um, they have a lot of physical issues. They have a lot of mental issues. Yes. Um, social. Social. Uh, and Yeah, all kinds of stuff. And, be, and been, and been abused. Mm-hmm. in oh, in yes. um in various ways you know you think abuse but uh child you abuse name it. you name uh, it you uh name child it. abuse encompasses physical oh. and mental and sexual abuse yep. um it, it's not just you know you know, in just hitting a kid no um no or, no no i mean actually beating beating them up right. you know i mean it it encompasses verbal Verbal yeah, abuse, yeah, verbal abuse. Um, is oh, yes. horrible. Oh, yes. um, anytime, well, and just in general, verbal abuse to uh, against an adult is horrible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that's hard to take when somebody comes at you and they, you know, oh, yeah, 
call you bad or names. <laughs> you know, that's yeah. hard to, you know, well, we're we supposed to look well the other there, way. Huh? We might as well go there. It's hard. It's, it's hard. It's hard when you get uh, when verbally abused by people. Right. And when um, your intentions aren't to harm, right. but you're uh, misunderstood, um, it's very difficult. But yeah. Um, yeah, we'll get into that one these days, Lynn. It's coming. Oh, I'm just saying that there's all kinds <laughs> I think of it's things coming. that children they're, go through. Yeah, know, but children, um, they're innocent. They yes, don't, they you don't know. They don't no know. They're no. told to, you know, keep your mouth shut. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, don't tell. Or it's okay. Everybody does it. Yes. Mm -hmm. sure. Oh, yes. You know, their brains so, aren't even formed. Let's be no. real. No. Everything and, that is done to these children affects their neural pathways in their brains. Right. I mean, it changes a child for the rest of their life, depending on what's happened to them, yeah. even from infancy. I'm talking like yeah. the first month of life. Yes. If certain yes. things are not done to that baby, their brain is not developing normally. Correct. Right. It's that right. important. You know, just speak words of affirmation to your children. It you is. have to love them unconditionally. Well, you you get to love them unconditionally. Right. Right. It's our privilege as parents. Kids will drive you insane. Oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, they're all crazy, and uh, they, they drive you nuts. And and they're gonna make plenty of mistakes because we did too. Yes, that's right. <laughs> That's right. So they getting need my nose getting me. I'm <laughs> getting the <buclimped. laughs> They need to know that they have somebody in their corner when they do something stupid. Yeah. That yeah. yes, they're probably going to get in trouble, but that person is always going to be there to love them. Correct. And when a child does not have that, when a child thinks that they are less than what they are, right? It can affect them to the core can affect them in their bodies. I mean, in foster care, you'll take classes and a lot of it deals with the brain. And there's a very good reason for that. Um, wow. Their brains are just not fully formed. I mean, I don't even know what, like 25 or something as an adult. Like, it's nuts when your brain's actually, it's so done, nice. you know, when, it's, when you click in. Yeah, yeah. I, come on. And, and a lot of people never mature. No, that's, yeah, very true. But our, you know, our son, he has special needs and we are here for him every step of the way. He's made huge strides, huge strides in less than two years. But just think if, what's going to happen. Yes. going. I'm out. very excited to see I'm what happens. Oh my yeah. goodness. I'm very excited for the, his future. I his really am. Yeah. His it's future. A bright one. He has a future now. He sure does. He does. Because he of you does. guys. He does. He has a this future. Was a future. Um, can, may I read this? This was my scripture today that I pulled. Yes. It's Jeremiah 29, 11. Mm. I know the <laughs> thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. That okay. is what I pulled out this morning. It's very appropriate. Yeah. Very appropriate. Very good. Yes. Very, very good. For, yes. You know, not only young children, but for each one of us. No, it's for everybody. Absolutely. For everyone. That's yes. Right. Yeah. Yes. We were meant to get this boy. Yes, you were. And we didn't know for a long time. I mean, again, I say his case moved quick and it did. Um, you know, it was, it was a rough, it, it was not, I mean, again, the very fact that they were, you know, a first time removal and all the way done with adoption in less than two years. Okay. That's very unheard of. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, if you take older children in foster care, there's just a really, really, really high chance that they're going to have some special needs. And no fault of their own. It's just right. how their environment was. Right. What right. they were exposed to, what happened to them. So you, you know, we became foster parents, very rose-colored glasses. Mm -hmm. No idea. We got, you know, our first placements in and learned a whole lot. Learned a lot. Very quickly. 
you're, we say we were baptized in fire. I mean, you are thrown in and you assume all responsibilities as parent, as parent figure. Yes. And everything falls onto you and you don't know anything about these children. Mm -hmm. Not at all. You're asking tons of questions, DCS. They don't know all the answers because they're a first time removal. You're just banging your head against a wall for, I'd say, honestly, probably the first three to four months are complete insanity. And then, you know, you have this, this little boy, well, he wasn't little, but you have this boy come into your home and he just wiggles his way right into your heart (laughs) very quick. Just fit right in. Oh my goodness. It's like a little missing puzzle piece. And so many foster parents have this testimony. They really oh, do. Yes. You just know, Good. you know, mm-hmm. yeah. like, he's a perfect fit. And so now your family is complete. Yes. We're good. We're good. We're good. Are you going to get a dog sometime? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got two cats. We're uh, okay, you got <laughs> cats. Okay, we love yeah. cats too, don't we, Lynn? Sure. So, yeah. <laughs> so you guys, so you've got now. I mean, yeah. So it's bringing it's, him in permanently was really not a very difficult decision for us. We wanted to make sure that it was okay with our biological children more than anybody yes. else. Right. And I mean, that's a big concern too. It really. I mean, I'm sure that was your main concern. It, from day one. Oh um, how, yeah. how was this going to affect day-to-day yes. life? Exactly. You, had a house to, you still had a house to run. Yes. You know, you had children to get school. You, you know, yep. your husband has work. So, yep. I mean, it's like you're trying to maintain your normal life, but it's not normal. Not anymore. No. I mean, it wasn't, you know, during fostering. It wasn't normal. No. It gets flipped completely upside down. Right. You, you, you know, so that, um, I think surviving that was yeah it's huge complete survival yeah. it is yeah. until yeah. you get into a routine and depending right. on the child and their needs yes you know that's going to vary how long it takes but i honestly those first 3 months i i oh my it's like it's almost like i've I, it's a blur i i remember some things but i i have no desire to go back to that at yeah. all because you was... open yourself up and Ugh. you open your heart up and yep. you don't really know i you mean have no idea how long you're going to have these kids mm-hmm. right no right. idea right. well i know people have questions and so yes. right now get in the chat and start I'm asking your questions because miss erica <laughs> can answer you in real time yep. so be right down there and uh ask questions right now Yep. And she will be answering your questions, yep. but, um, oh my gosh, I know, I, mean, right? I know, I know it's been a journey, hasn't it, Lynn? <sighs> Absolutely. And, and for you, for, Lynn, and for you, for, you're, you're kind of, you're, unfortunately, you're not there firsthand. I mean, no. cause you, cause you're not right. You're not in the same, so you're the, watching same city. You're right. yeah. Well, it's not even that. It's not even about that. It's it's about that you're over here. You're outside the bubble because yes. they're trying to get their little family unit, their little family bubble, right. working mm-hmm. out everything. Mm-hmm. And you're wanting, I know you, <laughs> <laughs> you're <laughs> wanting to be right in the thick of it, but you couldn't because I could not. no, because mm-hmm. there had to still be that separation, um, yeah. in that foster bubble. Yes, right during that fostering, you you want to. You want to show love and participate and, you know. Well, and, we, um, and be- we did have occasion to be with um, our grandson on on occasions. Mm-hmm. And you, like Erica said, you're, you know, you just you just fell in love with with him. He's just a very loving for child. Yes. And but so you had to still, you know, still. cameraman and I just hugged on him. And well, yeah, yeah. This is but a, you- but, but you, you know still you have right. to be we careful. You, at Absolutely. that time, you had yeah. to be careful, didn't didn't they, yeah. Erica? They had to because yep. they had to maintain that he wasn't going to stay. Right, right. You have to have I one wanted, mentality. But and, and then 
you had to be careful what you said. Oh, oh my yes. gosh. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the big part. I mean, I hugged on I'll hug any you know, any child. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And let them know they're loved. You're right. I couldn't maybe say I love you or this or that. You're right. You, you had to maintain a little distance. Them, you know, like yeah, whatever was going on, he was yeah. doing well and whatever it was, you know, you encourage them and say, wow, you know, you right. Know, yeah. But now um, what? it's now. Uh, oh, my goodness. Miss freedom. Erica. Freedom. Freedom. <laughs> and so well, if I, I mean, say, uh, last year, um, let me see here. Um, we don't know. Uh, Miss Erica and I have to talk about things and, and cameraman and and our son. But last year. Uh, we were able to have um, just our one grandson come, and we planned. All She's kinds got the of things notebook, to Erica. Do, right, <laughs> we planned, and um, and we had a great time. But um, as you know, like you said, we could only have our grandson. Right. That is and, correct. Um, so when he got home, what didn't he say? Something like, "Next year, <laughs> he he wants to come if." Yeah, to come. Yeah, yeah. Yes. and then so this year, if things do work out, guess what? We'll have our two grandsons. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're fine. They're fine. <laughs> she has that. She starts binders. Any occasion is. I am a, fine with occasion. that. I am. Huh? I'm all about that. Are I'm you, with her. I'm she's, with her. I mean, it to the point Here's where other nutty one. is like. She's yeah, got everything planned out. When her and I take a trip together, a sister's trip, she comes with a folder or a binder with, this oh, one. no, we can do this and we <laughs> can do that. And this yeah. is how much it costs. Here's the directions. Oh, to it. I mean. Oh, yes. I mean, I it's about really, it's, you know, which, is, which is good. I'm just I kidding. Menus, too. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't go that far. Oh, she I goes see. all okay. the way. She you know, I want to know what I'm going to spend, you know, and yeah. I'll look at the menu and say, now <laughs> I'll have this. <laughs> We're going to go there and eat that. I'm eating this. I'm like, well, I'm going to have whatever I want. And she's <laughs> like, well, I'm already got this planned out. <laughs> and I'm like, so I mean, like it is, it's, I believe it, that it is kind of funny, but yeah, she's a planner. So yeah. she's, she's going to be planning. Well, you know. I'd like to get the, the most bang for my buck. <laughs> well, yeah, and you usually do. Oh, my goodness. You know, her and cameraman came to see me about a little, about six weeks ago now. Yeah. And, but now she's, we're always kidding that she walks into deals. Any place yeah. we go, she'll just walk into something deal. Yep. Well, we did at Walmart one day. Good. We walked in the front door. And what were they doing, Lynn? They were clearing their purses for one dollar. <laughs> nice. One dollar. Oh my gosh. One dollar. They're duffel bags. And no, duffel bags. And that's right up here. Yeah. That's right. I don't, I mean, but How now. How many so, did you buy? Because we give them I away. I bought three. Too. Well, no, I bought, I bought more because I sent some home with you yes. to give. I started you gave them away. Yeah. Away. But um, yeah, I kept three three things for myself. One of them is like a three piece set, so it's it kind is. of like a. They were twenty nine ninety nine. I know. Yeah, <laughs> it was like a, it was like a bag, and then it had a wallet, and then it had something uh, else that makeup. went in it. Makeup. But um, for summer. But uh, yeah. So you know, I'm glad she was here because we. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't have happened yeah. if she hadn't been there. So no, well, probably. I, I, I mean, can I, just, can I tell you all something? It's it's just really funny. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Um, I won't say the drugstore, <clears throat> but every um. Now you know you go. Yeah, you can store. because well, others not, might no, want to. No, huh? I'm not because it's just something going on, and I can't explain it. Okay, it's okay. not like your receipts that drugstores print out receipts. And it'll say you have $2 in credit and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's not what's happening with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm receiving every week. One week I receive $3 in free money. The next week, $3. Then it might wait a few days. Then $4. And then $4. And that's what's been going on with me. So this last um, $4 coupon that I just had a few days ago, I had to show, I'm always taking a picture and showing um, me, <laughs> showing Anne. Send, I get um, a text with a picture. I, this is what I got today. I, said, I believe so that. I in, yes. Yeah, I went in the other day. Yeah. And um, 
anyway, I didn't know this, but I had when it came out, I didn't owe a penny. And actually, I had 17 cents left. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm getting laundry soap usually lately. Good. Yeah. I Cost mean, me that's... 52 cents usually and a $3 one. So, hey. Well, you probably need some of that laundry soap, Miss Erica. You probably, oh you've been yeah, washing been, a lot more clothes the yeah, last couple of years. Oh my gosh, so many. Boys, oh, you know, and their boys get dingy, don't they? Oh my I gosh, mean, they're really so dirty. Gross. They gross. are so gross. gross. dirty. <laughs> boys are gross. <laughs> I don't know. I raised two. <laughs> their feet. I mean, like, they stink. I, I'm no good. <laughs> <laughs> they smell deodorant. <laughs> And they, they're perfectly healthy and I keep them clean and everything. And it just, oh my God. But their feet stink. Oh, they that's do. funny. Oh, that well, is so are... funny. But it's, it's fine. fine. Well, mm -hmm. I am so glad that we've been able to bring you on for part wow. two. Yes. And um, foster care yes. to adoption. And it has a great outcome. Yes. And yes. you have a wonderful son. And um, yes, he's handsome. And he's they... a. <laughs> oh my you know, he's a looker he looks and, like uh, our he blends family. in it's he blends weird. in <laughs> yes. blends right in he looks just like our family he's it's a looker. very interesting it is yes yeah he, Especially with nobody glasses. will ever <laughs> you know? huh? anybody that does not know you would not know that that's we went, not your we went into church yeah um, uh, just last week we went into church and there was a sweet old lady sitting out in the foyer I, I don't know who she was. Never saw her before. No. I did. Okay. But we walked past her and she reached out to me and I stopped and I said, yes, ma'am. And she goes, my goodness, your husband cannot deny those two boys. They are the spitting image of him. And I oh. put on this big smile because she has no idea. She has oh, no idea. How sweet. I know. It made my day. It really did. And it how made my day because. And That's what grandma said head. too. Grandma said he Goodness. just fits in. Just like him. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of weird, but he does. So no, yes. that is just God blessed you with him. He so yes, he's he a, children he's are a blessing. Point. Yes. Yeah. They really children are. are a blessing. And yep. And uh I think when, when you're in foster care and it gets to the point where it would be harder on your family if that child left than if they stayed where, you know, okay, if this kid leaves mm -hmm. my family's, we're going to be heartbroken. Yes. You know, that's what happened with us. And it happened with my children, our, our biological children too, especially when he became pre-adoptive and we had a serious talk with both of our kids, like separate. We just, sure. we took them away. We're like, okay, I need to know legitimately. Right. Are you okay with us keeping him forever? <laughs> this is forever. He will right. be our son. He will be your brother. Be are you okay with this? And both of them, they go, he can't leave <laughs> like that. And I said, he could, mm -hmm. we could have him leave. Yes. And they go, no, like that, like what a stupid notion <laughs> to even consider be like, getting rid geez, of this mom, kid, no, you know, yeah, but I wanted them yeah. to have complete freedom in that moment. I did. I wanted them to oh, know yes, if there was yeah. any reservation on their part, no doubt. I wanted them to feel comfortable to say, well, oh, you mean like we could get rid of him at this point? Right. And but I would didn't... have said yes. And just to see where it went and neither one, both of them. They're like, no, 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 no. He's my brother. This is just, this is how it's supposed to be. And it was very simple with both kids. So as a foster, as a parent, who's also a foster parent, that's one of the biggest signs that you'll ever get given is the approval from your biological children yes. that they yes. want him yeah. or her as their sibling forever. It made... Uh, <sighs> Me it was the icing on the cake. It, there you go. It was there the icing on the cake. On top. It really yeah. was. And yeah. it solidified everything. Yes. And because me and my husband, we were in uh, 
real quick. I, I was in faster. <laughs> I love him, but I was in faster. I was truly like a couple of weeks in and I thought this kid is, I could not imagine him leaving. Yeah. And uh -huh. it took a little longer for my husband, but there's many reasons for that. And they were all justified because, you know, well, we, I, had, we, we had more than just him as foster yeah, kids right. and it's, it's a lot. It is a lot, but when well, you find you know, the one, you're, it's worth it. It really is worth it. I have no regrets. Oh, I have no regrets. Uh, it all worked out to where we got him and it's been worth it. Are we done? Yes, we are done. <laughs> Three children is good. It Three is. It is, is good. Three? Yeah, you should. Know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Three was you good. Know. I have, but now my my family has grown a and, lot. A lot. Um, a and, lot. And, you know, and um, you know, I it, I try to treat them all the same. Yeah. You know, because we love all of our kids. Yes. Yes, you do. You know, and yes. um, so and I do, and I know if you're watching, I love you, <laughs> all, all of you. <laughs> and so and, do uh, I. <laughs> yeah, and so does Aunt Lynn. She loves you too. All of you. <laughs> you know, I I will quote my son. Um, when um, we brought home his brother from the hospital, it was wonderful that day. Oh, the thing was fine. This is your new brother and it's great. And then the sun started to go down and started getting darker in the house. We had to turn the lights on and he started crying. I said, what's wrong? He said, take them back, take them back. <laughs> <laughs> he enjoyed them for the afternoon. <laughs> Oh, he's time to go home now. He you know, wherever. still patronizing. He, he stays. He's, he stays. It's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. He still patronizes your son. <laughs> and he's adopted and everything. I mean, you name it. it it's, it's, yes, it, it still goes on. It's a running joke with them. But um, I'm very happy. My family's happy. And our foster son, now son, is very happy. And yes. I'd love to be able to say that, you know, the next, however, you know, the next 10 years down the road are going to be smooth sailing. Right. Even well, though you know, as, a, as they probably won't, because then you're going to have two teenage boys. Well, okay. I guess I should say I'm, I'm thinking more about him. You know, is he going to want to look into his biological family? Is he going to have more questions you know, at that point? I would just, I would just, you know, you know, what Grandpa used to say, just put it on a shelf, right? Yep. You yep. know, and, and just deal with it at another. Don't, don't yep. concentrate on that. Yep. Enjoy, yep. enjoy the happiness now and yes. the completeness, and it's yes. over all of that good feeling, and yes. just put all that. Other, just can you can compart? Well, this is a new thing. Compartment was it? Compartment compartment lies what is that word they compartmentalize yes. yeah put it in a little <laughs> box <laughs> put your thoughts in that little box and just put, put it, it on the shelf mm -hmm. and then later you can burn the box well, oh, yes. God's grace will be there yes grace will be there you're not you're not you know god was in the mix you didn't do this alone right no, you did not no this was all part of a plan it took and a lot of nobody Nobody Believing. that's been involved could ever deny that this right. was definitely part of a plan. Mm -hmm. It's meant to be this way. And we have a hope based on that, that whatever comes down the pike, we yes. will have provision to see it through. There you go. And that's where we are with it. That's got to be your confession going it forward. Is. Right? It is. I have an enduring hope and that's what I put my faith in truly is the Lord and he will sustain us see us through, but it is interesting with foster parenting, you know, we'll let our license lapse and we're done, but it doesn't stop. You know, it, it's very, you know, to you know that it. there's children waiting mm -hmm. and oh, for a good God. home, like you guys have mm -hmm. to know that there's children waiting there's and so many, um, that's there's what's so sad, many. isn't it? I mean, that is very sad. It, it tears me apart. I, 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 but this you can only do what road. you you can only do so what hard. you can do, you know, right. and and yeah. and what you can do 
is be you guys be the best parents he could ever have and you are but continue that Thank and you. god's gonna bless you for that because he has he he, has. he turned around a horrible situation for him and put Wait, him yep. in the best home yes. it could possibly be in and that was not a coincidence like you no, said god not at all god had his hand on our him. steps are ordered yes, yes. Exactly. oh the bible says that exactly the, I agree. Uh, the steps of a righteous man are yes. ordered by God. Yep. Yep. And he's had a lot of prayer put into him. Yes. Yeah. And we are a praying family. Yes. So yeah. I'm a firm believer in that. And uh, it has certainly proven worthwhile so far. I can tell you that God has well, really had his hand on him. And and you have the support of the um, grandparents and yes. the aunts and uncles. I mean, it's, yes. it's an expanded family. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we yep. support and love and pray. Yes. For one another. Well, there's a lot of us. Yes. I'm grateful for all <laughs> yeah. of you. I mean, this has been a rough road, but it was worth it in the end. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're glad in a way to be done with foster parenting. Mm -hmm. We have three, you know, that's a decent amount of yes. kids. Oh, it's a, yes, it is. Absolutely. It's a handful. You know, yes. I'm busy. I am busy. And it's, yes. it, it's still, there's that it's, it's almost like a, a grief of some kind just mm -hmm. because of what um, Ann was saying. Mm -hmm. Well, so, it, could we take another one, you know, well, and it, all these thoughts go through your head. Um, I, I think of that at my yeah, age, mm -hmm. right. You know, at, at 64, you think, Oh, if, you know, if there was a baby that came up, you know, you see these commercials on TV and you think, Oh, you know, I think I want to do that. I, you know, and even as a Sorry. woman, as a woman, Lynn and yeah. I, you know, you have moments of, man, I wish I could have another baby. Absolutely. Yes. I mean, you know, cause having a baby yeah, is yeah. like the best thing ever. No, and yeah. it just is. Mm -hmm. But then the reality is you're 64 years old. <laughs> and in my case, I'm a little older. So. Right. I mean, it's not even, it's not possible anymore, you know, and, uh, you know, really, it would be hard. It yep. would be, you know, for, you know, it'd be hard. I mean, but, um, I'm younger than both of you and it would be hard for me to take a baby. That's yeah. The truth. It'd be, it'd that's be, the truth. it's kind of, I think a, a, it's a young people's game. Yeah. And <laughs> is you want to yes. have your children, you know, when you're young enough to really keep up with them. <laughs> yeah. I really, I mean, I do kind of think that, I mean, yeah. I know, I know a lot of people wait and I'm whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. But I just think when you're younger, you do have more energy. Oh, sure. And sure. it takes a lot of stamina to raise yeah. kids. Right. But then with age, you know, like I'm wiser. Age comes at this wisdom. Point. I I have more patience. Yeah, patience I, and I you have wisdom. Know. So there's perks even to being older. Yes. Because you can adjust your license to what you're willing to to take at whatever given point you can change your age yeah. range, your, I mean, whatever you're wanting to do mm -hmm. um, at whatever stage of life you're in, you can change Let's just what say, your limits are. So you're in your like mid fifties and the kids are all out of the house and yep. doing their, they're happy and content and move in, you know, then you might, I mean, I've had that feeling. You know, the empty nest syndrome. Yeah. Yeah. That empty nest in yeah. like in the fifties, you know, Absolutely. In your 50s, you have that empty nest and like, yeah. and, and mine was even earlier. Yes. And, yes. Um, you. Yes. you know, but yeah. yeah, it's, I think maybe it's, I don't know if it's a female thing. I don't it know. Might be. You, Most don't of know. us are kind of natural caregivers at heart and mm -hmm. we just want to. Cause I'm not sure men feel people. that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, cause when I mentioned that, I'm like, not there. Ah, uh, Dave, no. do you think we could take it? You could we help, you know, and take help one of these kids? And he's yeah. like, no. Yeah. Not if you want to stay married to me. And it's oh, like, ouch. you know, seven yeah. kids and then however many 14, 14. grandkids. Yeah. That's plenty. Yeah. And it really is. So it is. But it your is. heart. It's always there. You just kind of, like, eh. you oh. know, it's the same, but now I, this, so yeah. So it's you just there. have to kind of go, no, but know, I know that yeah. I'll say this. I know Anne is, um, kind of mentoring someone, a younger person. Well, and, I'm going you know, to, yeah, I'm going to be mentoring and, a, a teenage gal, right? Teenage, and you're a gonna, young teenage girl. You're so, yeah. So I had, so I'm just kind of finished. 
how. finish that process of like the background check and stuff and that all. Right. So that's all over with. So now I'm just kind of waiting to see mm-hmm. what, you know, what am I supposed to do next? You know? but see how, I mean, but it's like God's opened another door for you. You still have a nurturing you know, heart yeah, and a loving true. heart and a mothering heart. And right. So, so we'll see, see yeah. where that leads. I don't know. I don't Is know. Is this where through that's... the church? Or... Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. We have a large, I want to say large. We have a good, a decent size teenagers youth mm-hmm. group. Wonderful. Um, and so I was asked if I would mentor one of the girls and I, I said, yes, I don't, it came out of my mouth. Yeah. I was like, yeah, brain I went, went, I went, my what? brain went, what? <laughs> yeah. I went, what, what? what? And my mouth went, yeah, I'll do, you know? And so, yeah. So I'm not, uh, you'll a, be good at that. Well, mm-hmm. she will. Yeah. I'll, I'll try, you know, but um, yeah, so it's their church. And, and like I said, we had to do, I had to do a background check and that came back. Okay. I, I imagined, oh, I, I assumed I mean, it you know. did. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I had so many concerns. Yeah. So any of you have questions in chat about Anne's background? <laughs> yeah, check into that background. We ever make sure. Hmm. But anyhow, uh yeah. So I'm just gonna see, you know, where this is all gonna lie. It's it's mostly just being a supporter yes, of, of her. And, that today. and and I, I did that. ask, I'm like, is her parents on board with this? I mean, <laughs> and, and and the answer was yes. You know, they're, Good. they're on board with it. So, Good. so I think that, you know, there could be more to that story. Right. So I don't, sure. I don't know. Sure. I don't know. So we're going to see. So I'm whatever I'm open to whatever. So right. we'll see. But I mean, um, in the next 10 years, my children will be full grown adults, possibly married, you know, living their own lives. That's just in the next 10 years. They are our future. Mm-hmm. Children need poured into. Children need to know how important they are, how special yes. each one of them is. They really are. They're wonderful. They're created by God. They're beautiful. And they need to know that because this world, it's not set up right now to um, foster that within children. Um, we need to to let them know just how important they really are. They are our future. I mean, my goodness, there. Yeah, we don't the do next... right by them. We aren't gonna. We are will not. What have... hope do we have? Right. Yeah, there we don't have go. any hope. If that's right. there, you go. Yeah. Right. So yes, I'm. I'm proud of you. I commend you. You. Well, will be I haven't done anything for... yet. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see uh, what comes. But... I know you well enough. You'll be very good. You will. Yes. yes well, will. I hope so. We'll see. See how it goes. Yep. God. But... So I'll just say this. I know God's opening doors for Anne that she never. Six months ago, she would never have dreamed that he would open. And um, he's put her, you talk about order your steps. He has ordered her steps and I'm excited. Um, he's given her a voice also. So um, I have so a I'm, voice. <laughs> she has a voice for this new, what, you know, I mean, God's just opens doors and it's just wonderful. And, and he'll so, do that no, for, he'll do that for anybody. Anyone that wants he, to be. The Bible says he's no respecter of persons. That means he treats, he, he loves everybody yes, exactly the same. Yes. Exactly. And if you don't know him today, I would sure ask you to consider yes. right, asking Jesus into your heart today, making him the Lord of your life. Yes. yes. And, uh, we, and you'll have, have a new beginning. You have a new beginning because exactly. we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I was watching the news earlier and um our you know it was a it was a news conference at our state department and it was not good what they talked about our you know we you know the world's not the world is un, very unstable. Yes. Yes. Right now very unstable. And um, there's a lot of voices and they're throwing a lot of, um, I got to be real careful about this. We want to be careful what we say, but we just know the world's unstable. Let's just leave it at that. Very unstable. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow in our, in this country or any other countries. Could be some big trouble like we've had in the past, some big trouble. So I would say stay close to the Lord. Yes. And, and and Erica, I know your family is. 
Yes. You've got, I mean, as long as we have Jesus, we got everything. What else do we need? He's the best decision I ever made. Turning my life Me over too. to him. Yes. Best decision. Yep. Yeah. No regrets on that. And so, I guarantee you will not have any regrets if you get right. into your life. Truly. That's right. And, and I want to go, I want to say once, this is a little off topic, but it's on topic, but a Christian is supposed to have the fruits of the spirit showing and working in their life. Correct. That's how you know that they are really a Christian. Yes. Yes. Lynn, what are those fruits? Well, I was, I just, <laughs> you were going to ask me, you can all help me, but there is, well, there, I'll, okay, okay. There is love, love, there is joy. Yes. There's peace, peace, long there's suffering, patience. Yep. patience, patience. There's gentleness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is think about that. Think about that word for a second. Gentleness. I just think about that. Gentil. We we use that word gentil, gentleness. Right, but gentleness. Or what faith, it, yeah, faithfulness. There's faith, faithfulness. Mm -hmm. And I so, know I'm missing some. Do uh, you get self-control? Self-control, thank you. So, oh, self-control. Oh, I got them all up here. Yes, yes. Yeah, and you know, oh, self-control. Oh, you have them. Read them, read them off, Erica. Oh, oh no, she just did. did. I did. Uh, Love, there's nine. there's nine. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self control. Goodness. Yeah. Goodness. Yeah. So yeah. when you see people spewing anything other than these nine fruits of the spirit, you should question. Mm -hmm. Yes. Really? <laughs> Who and, do you, you know, serve? And um, right. self control. I mean, we understand. Self control. Oh, we that's do, a big one. Every yeah. area. <laughs> one area is in your tongue. It's okay. the language that comes out of your mouth. I and think what, that if you see what, someone that burns your ears, you know, just say a prayer for them. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, self, they have no self-control. Right. A lot of times, you know? yeah. And um, I know that people get really um, aggravated and they show it in a lot of different ways. But really, we're not supposed to do that supposed to roll there one another forgive we're, we're supposed uh, to forgiveness oh yeah. my. Yes. <laughs> sometimes the struggle for all of us i think <laughs> you're taking yeah. the stick out of their eye when you have a, um, <laughs> a plank in a yours, yeah. in yours. Right. Yeah. Right. So i so, try not to i know we all um we can preach it we're all three preachers here but <laughs> yeah yeah for sure but, but i'm you know, so hard. proud um erica of you and our son yes, and your we family have you for welcoming our newest grandson into your oh. lives, into our lives. Um, he has been rescued. Oh, oh that's a rescued. Oh, rescued. That's very sweet. Yeah. The Lord rescued us. And in yes. return, in that's return right. we put our hand out to rescue others. There you go. That's right. And um, having a baby when um, you're going to have a baby and they start coming, those pain, you know, there's, there's pain involved with uh, birthing yes. and, and you all have had um, almost two years right. of pain. Yes. And uh, because it's, it wasn't your natural birth. It was um, a different type of, of birthing into the family, yeah. but you know what, wasn't it worth it all? Every last minute. It's when you hug him at night and you pray, I know you pray with um, the every children. night. I know you do. And yep. I pray every night for, for all of you. Thank you. I know that, you just, and, and I'll tell you, this is the best time of your lives because you know where your children are. They're yes. at night when you lay your head to rest to sleep. Yes. You know, they're tucked in and, and I know every age is going to be different. I know our granddaughter is going to be turning some certain ages where things are more independent. Uh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but I say right now, today, tonight, you know that they're tucked in their bed safe and sound. Mm -hmm. And uh, and yes, that, uh, that was the best time of, of my life, knowing that my, my kiddos were in their own bed. Right. Yes. Safe and sound. Yes. Well, just live on the high of the moment now because you can, you yeah. know, you can just enjoy it. And, and ride that wave as long, ride it as long as you can. That's it. <laughs> Amen. That. Well, my yeah. husband has said those exact words. Oh. Yes. 
He said those exact words. You gotta ride the wave. We gotta did. ride goes, that gotta wave. We gotta ride this wave as long as we can. Okay, let's not do anything. Right, and right. Let's just kind of go in. right down the yes. middle of the wave. You know, just <laughs> kind of yeah. Air, let it take us. That's air. great that you said that because oh. he said that exactly. Oh, yeah. oh wow. my gosh. Oh yeah. wow. Well, yeah. that you can tell we're kin. Yes, yes. you are. We're kin yes. folk. Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah. And that's our plan. We're gonna ride this through. He's our yeah. son now. Legally, yeah. he is our son. Yay! Yes. Thank Yay. you, Lord. And so happy. Now we have our family of five, and uh, we're we're very happy. And yes. it's nice to have. Like I'm looking at his uh, picture on our entertainment center, and I got all three of our kids up there. And it's yes. nice to know that I do not have to ever take down that picture. I don't have to pack it away and send it in a suitcase for him to go back to somebody for him to leave i don't right, ever right. have to do that well i'm sure and he he must just be like so happy oh my gosh so happy it's like our daughter made a comment i'll be quick i know but our daughter made a comment that since the adoption he's been um she used the word i think she said like more emotional and that's going to sound like a negative thing. It's a good thing. Okay. Because there's been a lot of times where we just never really knew what he wanted. Okay. Uh -huh. And this is normal. This is a normal thing dealing with foster children, especially older ones. Their opinions were never, they never mattered. What they wanted didn't matter. They were never asked what your favorite food, what's your favorite color. Nobody cared. So no, it wasn't a part of his upbringing. But now that he's in a family that really is trying to help him be the person that God's created him to be. We want him to be independent when he grows up. You know, we want him yes. to be able to live a full life in every way. And our daughter, she noticed there was a particular thing that happened between her and him just a couple of days ago. And it was really sweet. And he had never done that before. And it was a question that he asked her. And it was going to take time out of her schedule to do what he asked. Mm -hmm. And she said, sure thing like that. And his face just totally lit up, you know, at the notion that he is now with a family that he can ask for our time. He can ask for our help. He can ask us our opinions on things, but we're not going to we're going to encourage him to have his own opinions. Right. That's all new to him. He's never had this. It's been a struggle since day one with this child. It has been a struggle with him, but he's getting there and he's making these steps. And our daughter noticed one of those and it was a really sweet moment. It was really sweet, uh -huh. but he's, he'll get there. He will get there. He's yes, in he an will. environment that will foster him to be right. the it, man it, it, of God that he's created to be. Yes. It's kind of, he's got, he's, he trusts you, there you but go. it's like now that trust is being a little bit tested, maybe. I don't know. Or I, is I he just all in? He's all in. He's all it's in. It's been wonderful. It's well, been great. That's great. He is not, he, he doesn't cry. There's a very much a lack of emotion. Okay. From this child a lot of times. Um, so you just never know where he stands on stuff. Sure. Yes. Which as a parent is tough. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am. Oh goodness. I am just so much a point blank gal. Okay. Let's just get it out in the open. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. If there's a problem, let's just have right. it be done. Okay. I don't like to beat around the bush. I'm just not that kind of person. Mm -hmm. So what do you want? Tell me what you want. I don't get that out of him at all. Okay. So it's been a learning. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm like, just tell me what is your favorite out of these three things? And it's not that easy with him. So it'll get in the process, but he's getting there. He's making yeah. these strides and we can notice them along the way. And it's very encouraging. So well, that yeah. is just, yeah, this is a great story. And I'm sure that, you know, um, this is going to touch a lot of people. Oh, yes. I hope so. I, I hope oh, so. I, it's yeah, a win, it will. guys. Okay, not every kid ends up worse than when they went into foster care. Not every kid does, okay? Because you hear all the bad. You hear the, the horror stories, and you hear all these horrible things. 
about foster children and, you know, the system could use some work. I'll just leave it at that. Um, but you but have not, a, I'm sorry. You have a success story. We are yeah. a win. We you, are. You are. A, this it, is the, this is the one of the times you can, you know, maybe rare times that it, there is an actual success. Yes. Yes. If you go and into I, this with the right heart, uh -huh. you have the best of intentions. They, there's times where it may break you still, but if you, Truly, and I know they were talking about the Lord. Without him, none of this would have happened. Yeah, so right. if you have the determination to see this through and you meet that child, um, you know, you don't have to foster. You can just go into pre-adoptive. You don't have to foster. Okay, you can just be a pre-adoptive. Do you have an opinion on that one way or the other? I, I personally would encourage somebody to foster. Okay. Um, okay. That's where you're going to learn everything. Right. Okay. If, it's a lot, if we, a lot harder, isn't it? <laughs> Be harder. Don't know. There's so much to this. Yeah. That right. If we had right. not fostered, I would have been completely lost going into. Oh, that's a good adoption point. because yeah. if you don't foster, and you go to a meet and greet, okay, yeah. they have those, which <laughs> some. Uh, yeah. It, sometimes they're great. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you do walk out with your future child. Yes. Wow. Um, those are really hard on the foster kids that are there. So they're kind of on display. And yeah. Yeah. Um, that's hard. Okay. And yes. it's hard for the foster parents to go into those two. I've never been in one. Uh -huh. I have seen them, how they're conducted. Uh -huh. um, but I've never actually participated in one because we fostered. If you don't foster and you are just up for adding to your family, yes. you're only going to adopt, then you're only going to have access to those children whose parental rights have been terminated. Yes. Okay? So your, your pickings are going to be slimmer and you will have high needs children. Okay. Most of the time, most of the time they're pretty special needs. So I'm, well, I hope that makes sense. Yeah, but, it does. I guess if, um, by fostering you, you were kind of going through the system. Yes. Learning and learning they helped you. Maybe they helped you to deal with this, you know, what you were experiencing, happened. right? It was great preparation for adoption. Yeah, it really was. So they, they kind of helped you through that. So, but well, we did not I, keep every child that came into this house. Okay. Right. So you right. do need and to that, be that's another that. heartbreak. That's you another do, that's the big thing with a lot yeah. of people why they don't want to foster. Yeah. Right. They I mean, don't want to be heartbroken. Right. So yeah. that's the other side of it getting it heartbroken. Is. It is. Well, Erica, I think yes. man. We this, went long, didn't we? We went long. It's that's been great. It a wonderful program. And then oh, good. I've great. enjoyed this, ladies. Yeah. And I do um, too. right now, Erica's we're all in the chat. Yes. So say hi to us because we're in the chat down there. Put your questions in the chat before yep. we go so she can answer them, okay? Absolutely. So, well, and Erica, I guess yeah. it's that time. Yes. Yeah. It's that time. It's been wonderful chatting we with you. We can clink her out. We're going to clink you. Mine's empty, too. I've, I've been drinking out of it. it. <laughs> <laughs> but it, we'll, we'll clink Miss Erica. Super fan. And thank you so much for being with us today. Oh, thank you for having me, ladies. It's always a pleasure. And I mean that. Oh, really. Um, love you all. Love you. Love you all. Mm -hmm. yes. I love you too. Mm -hmm. And we're going to give you some. I'm going to give you aunt kisses. Mm -hmm. I'll give you this. I'll give yes. You mom, get, mom, aunt and mom kisses. Yes. Mom kisses. And, um, and we will talk to you again soon. Yes. I look we'll, forward to that. Okay. Maybe we'll check back in when, you know down the road oh that would be nice and that see how nice. it's see how it's right. going and you know yeah maybe a year months. after adoption let's see yeah, where we a year stand. after yeah. yeah how about that that's a, a good follow idea. up yeah that's so. a good idea every time when i think i'm not going to have much to say somehow we end up <laughs> in an hour and a half so I, i'm not going to worry about that no, anymore. No. <laughs> no. so the next time i'm sure there'll be lots to talk about yes yes yeah, i'm sure there will and hopefully okay. all happy. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, so. yes. 
<laughs> You're going to get a little bit of both. Um, a little bit of everything. Mixed maybe. bag. Yep. So we're going to let you go, sweetie. Thank right. you for being Bye. our guest right. today. I love all of you. Love oh, you we too. love you. Bye. -bye. Bye. That sounded like Merry Christmas music. It is Merry Christmas music. Hello there. <laughs> you're you're live on you're live on the uh Ann Lynn show. Must be mother. <laughs> okay. I I will call you back. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's funny. Well, come oh. on, we gotta say goodbye. Right. Oh, you froze, man, me, Lynn. There you are. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm you back. You froze. Was that our mom? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That was another family member. Another family member. Oh, I. Okay. Okay. Well, well, it's been wonderful having my daughter in love. It has <laughs> been. And yes. And, and, it's such a blessing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I know it's so been much. quite a journey for them. So I'm, I'm glad it's, uh, it's we turned wanted out. We you all to know it's, um, it's been a joyous occasion for our family. Oh yeah. You had a great time going to the ceremony. I know. Absolutely. Being with all the kids and that was wonderful. Was. Wonderful. So, Lynn, I think it's that time. All right. Granny kiss out. Granny kiss out. All okay. right. You ready? So we'll see you next week right here on the Ann Lynn Show at 10 a.m. Eastern. And okay. join us you next ready? week in join our it. live chat. You ready? Bye. Mwah. Mwah. Bye. Bye. We'll see you soon. <laughs>